am the Minister of Magic now. Yes. Hello Potterheads, welcome to my channel. Today I am unboxing the Wizarding Trunk. This is the Owlery, the bi-monthly subscription box by the Wizarding Trunk. They also have a quarterly subscription box. You probably saw in the title that the theme for this box is Ministry of Magic, which you can kind of tell by this nice purple box. And you can see that they have their logo, the Owlery in the middle there. They've got some stamps that say Magical Registration Department. So that's part of the Ministry of Magic. On the bottom, we also have a faded Ministry of Magic emblem, which looks very cool. And they've been putting some cool prints on the inside of the box over here, which is also a Ministry of Magic symbol. And then I don't know what that other weird little symbol is. And then a sneak peek. We have a potion. Ooh, this is a really cute, small little light powdery blue. It is Truth Serum. Awesome, and it's got like an all seeing eye there and like a pyramid. Um, it says Veritas Truth Serum, as in the Veritas Serum. It looks like a very similar potion to the Memory Vial. They had given us a Memory Vial in a previous box, and it does look very similar to that, except they put a lot more of the swirlies in here. The swirlies look so cool in this, whoa and they have used another silver wax seal, which they also used on the unicorn blood potion. And there's a little bit of twine under there. And it also says three drops per dose. All right, that's pretty cool. What is the Ministry of Magic's protocol for using truth serum? Cause I know they're kind of weird about it at Hogwarts. I'm actually not sure of the legality of using truth serum. So let me know in the comments if you know anything about that. Next, I'm gonna pull this out. Oh, oh my, there's something different on both sides. Okay, so this is a coin, octagonal coin. It says, issued to senior ministry officials. And then it says DMT at the bottom. And on the back here, you see a chimney with some green flames, a fireplace with some green flames in it, which is obviously flu powder travel. So I'm guessing that the DMT stands for the Department of Magical Transportation. And there's also an NFA on the front here with the symbol, which must be something like the National Flu Association, or at least that's what I'm gonna guess that it means. And it's got a wand and a broom and a little fire as the symbol. DMT actually means something else to me, but I am not going to talk about that. So this looks like a knife holder or something, or a wand holder, I would imagine. So it's a really nice little leather holder. It's open on both ends, it's got a little keychain here, and it's got a nice little Ministry of Magic emblem there. It doesn't quite seem right for... Well, maybe, maybe it is right for a wand. It may just be a keychain type of wand holder and maybe you just attach this to your belt loop. I do love the color and the design, very nice. It's a little black box, it says unlocking magic and it's got like a little design of a keyhole. I'm guessing it's gonna be one of their keys, but they have this nice fancy packaging maybe now. Oh my, it is a key. It's a really nice key. Let me show it to you in the box first. So they've got it in this really nice box with like a with like a velvet um, holder for it that's shaped to it so that it sits in there real nice. It is a beautiful silver and sort of a muted red. The key ring is very shiny silver and I like it, although it doesn't match the key all that much, but I feel like it still kind of goes together pretty well. It's got an M on the top for Ministry of Magic and like just some nice designs going down it. 
and then at the bottom it says minister going down you know what this reminds me of is um a zelda boss key and i think that's exactly what this is this appears to be the minister of magic's key so maybe it's the key to his actual office that is super cool this is the first key they've given us that came with a box that's really really cool and i think this key is one of the nicest keys they've given us also the size is really nice the weight is really nice oh and the key part itself is actually also an m oh my gosh look at this telephone booth replica oh it's a piggy bank it's got a it's a coin bank it's got a thing at the top got a little stopper here at the bottom it is like pretty simple looking and there's no design on the inside like of the phone or anything because obviously if you're gonna fill it up with money you're not gonna see the design on the inside anyways but there is like a like a plastic right here sort of like a like a tin or a metal material there we Okay, so the plastic was turned inside this, so I did just have to take this bottom part off and stick my finger in here and um, turn the plastic. And it's like a sheet of plastic that's folded into thirds, so it's blocking all three sides at the same time. So you can't just move one sheet, you have to turn the whole, the whole rectangle in there. But it wasn't that hard, not a problem. I probably had the only one that was even messed up. What's this? Whoa! check this out i don't even know what this is yet but the front is amazing look at that dragon this says magical law department head is this just a badge oh this is velcro what is happening i'm confused by this item this is what it looks like on the inside these come off and then this is a pin so it's like a giant safety pin. So if you want to take this off. Oh, well, okay. Well, I actually just um, pulled it out of here and this little piece came off, which is like the clasp for the bottom. Okay, so it looks like I've got it fixed. It's another one of these issues, which I've said before, the wizarding trunk has this problem commonly which is that a lot of their little metal pieces like this tend to be loose. And if you just have a pair of pliers where you can just squeeze it a little tighter, then that will help. I think it's okay. I'm gonna put it back in its little case here, its little holder. And I don't exactly know what these little things are for either, but they were just in here, just chilling. So I'm just gonna leave them there. But then there is also this thing so that you can clip it onto your belt loop or whatever so that you can show your law enforcement badge. And then we have a book cover. I can see that it has Ministry of Magic print on it. It's the same print that is on the inside of the box. Gold foiling. An unspeakable guide to magical mysteries. So the other little symbol is just a question mark, I guess. These right here, maybe like prophecy orbs or something of the sort. And there's also brains all over, which the trip that the golden trio and the silver trio took to the Ministry of Magic in Order of the Phoenix. They encountered the brains with the tentacles or whatever those were. Very cool. I do like the concept of these book covers. I think they're really cool, but I am definitely running out of books to put them on. And this smells like hemp. Next, I'm gonna pull out this very pretty blue box. So look at this. Oh, it's a wax seal kit. Hello, get out of here, please. It's just on this little paper backing. It says, from the desk of the minister. So I'm for real the minister of magic. I've got his key and I've got his wax seal for her. So this is the stamp. I love this little purple handle and the stamp looks like this. Very pretty. 
And then this then is a wax bit. And it's got what looks like a wick. So I've never had like a wax seal kit before. So I don't really know how this works or why there's a wick on it. Do I have to melt this whole thing down like a candle first? I don't really know. I didn't expect there to be a wick on it. I thought I would just melt it down. I don't know. Okay, we have a pin. Hmm. Mildly confused, but I'm not too confused. I think this is Sirius Black when he went through the veil, but it just doesn't look quite right. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Next, I have been saving this big, nice box. This looks really nice, printed really well. It says copyright 2022 wizardry workshop, the wizarding trunks. So this is probably a replica of some kind. Oh my. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. This is the statue in the Ministry of Magic. It shows a witch and a wizard with some other magical creatures like a house elf and a goblin and a centaur. It's very nice, shiny gold with like a stand that's got like texturing in the bottom part of the stand also. So it looks like um, marble stand or granite stand. Everything about this is really nice, I think, except for the only flaw I would say is the paint job on the house elf's feet here. They look like skeleton feet because they got painted with like the white color instead of the gold color. I think it's all a resin, just a painted resin. It looks really good. The details are really good, like I said, except for the feet on the house elf. Whoa. This is a whole pad, holy crap. It's a whole pad. Okay, so this is a interdepartmental memo. So you can, I wish it was magnetized because it'd be a great thing to put on your fridge, but it's got, you can put the date, you can put a list of like your to-dos, priorities, notes, um, potion and hydration. I'm not really sure but maybe that's like a water counter to keep track of how much water you're drinking. And there's like a shopping list section, owls to send section. So this is like a, like a desktop um, planner, essentially. I love the purple and the Ministry of Magic kind of theme. And the next, what is this? This says, file name, blood report, department, Magical Registration Commission. File number, blah, 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 blah. So this is like a legit Ministry of Magic file, which looks fantastic. And inside of it, we've got some stuff here. We've got a wand registration page. It's got a ministry logo on the back here, which looks really cool. Wow, so you would have to put down the wand core, the wood type and the, it's listed as the weakness. I did not know that that was such a thing. And you could put the owner name, the length and width of the wand, a description, the spells most cast of the wand. Looks like Latin down at the bottom here, which is pretty cool. And then it's got like an approved by with a signature of Octavius someone. And then next we have a Magical Registration Commission Blood Status Report. So this was when the ministry was looking for mudbloods. So this is all where you can fill out about a person and their blood status, their lineage, education, marks and scars. Wow, this is pretty sad, but like kind of dope. It says to be completed with suspect in custody use only ministry approved purple ink. Whoa, look at this last thing. Magical Registration Commission. Oh, this says counterfeit all over it. It is a family tree. I don't know whose family tree because it does not say any names. It does say counterfeit all over. So this is like somebody was trying to pass up 
their family tree so that they wouldn't be in trouble, but then they found out this was a fake family tree. So that is pretty cool. Oh, and there is one more thing in here before we get to the cheat sheet. It is a magistration identity card. So this looks like a passport. It says, if found, please hand in at any magical registration office. This identity card must be carefully preserved. You may need it under conditions of magical emergency. You must not lose it or allow it to be spirited away, cursed, or hexed. If nevertheless it is lost, stolen, or cursed, you must report the fact in person at any local mag magical registration office. So they are not playing around with your identity card. Ooh, it opens up into a whole paper here where I can put my photograph, my description, and then I'm supposed to sign it and date and get a witness to sign and blah, 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 blah. Wow, so yeah, so it's just a little uh, identity card, passport type of thing. Super cool, I love this color scheme. The purple and the green I think are beautiful. They've done a lot of those color schemes in this box. That was the last item. So, next we are on to the cheat sheet. And the reverse side of the cheat sheet is a Department of Magical Travel International Travel Permit Application. So that was kind of a mouthful, but it is a travel permit. Now onto the cheat sheet. Can I just say that this cheat sheet, the printing on it is so dark, like the contrast looks amazing. Item number one is an unspeakable guide to magical mysteries. That is the book cover. This cover fits the second UK house edition book. So this one, first one was by Wizardry Workshop. Okay, so anyways, number two is the magical travel coin. Only senior ministry officials may travel directly into the ministry. Keep this coin on you at all times. So this coin allows me to be able to travel directly into the ministry in those flu network, the fireplaces, as soon as you go into the ministry, that's what this is for. Awesome. Oh, and that one was by Here Be Monsters. Number three now is the Manticore and Person Creature page. Oh, that's not here. We didn't get that in this box. I did get an email from the Wizarding Trunk saying that they got a shipment of the Magical Creature pages and apparently this shipment got dropped in the Black Lake because it was soaked and everything was ruined. So they're going to send it out in the next box. So let's not worry about that. Number four is the Daily Memo Pad, which is perfect for planning your day at work, home, or school. And this one is by JP Mistlecrow. Number five is the Portrait Pin. The newest portrait pin, perfect for your growing collection. It's just got some runes, so I don't know who made it. Number six is the Wand Holster. Yes, it is a wand holster. All wands must be properly secured during working hours. I'm so excited for this. Number seven is the work ID card. This ID card must be completely filled out before your first day of work. Number eight is the truth serum. Veritas means truth, and that's exactly what this serum forces you to tell. This virtually clear potion is almost undetectable and highly regulated, bottled by Pure Blood Apothecary. Yeah, I guess they're right. Isn't Veritas serum the potion that looks like water? So they probably could have just put water in here if I'm gonna be honest, but it's fine. Number nine is the Minister Key. This key allows access into the Ministry office. This one is by JP Misselcroat. Oh, and the True Serum and the Work ID card were by Wizardry Workshop. Number 10 is the Minister's Wax Seal that is in this box. Documents stamped with this seal come directly from the Minister. I am the Minister of Magic now. Yes. 11 is the Telephone Booth Coin Bank, perfect for holding both magical and non-magical coins. Number 12 is the Entry Statue. This statue welcomes all visitors. This one is by J.P. Mistlecrow. Then we have the Department Head Badge. Congratulations on your promotion to Magical Law Department Head. And this one is also by Here Be Monsters. Then number 14 is the Magical Documents. These documents must be completed while questioning those who may be lying about their magical abilities. 
this is also by wizardry workshop and that is the last of the items and it does say that the next bi-monthly theme will be professors so that will be very exciting i swear that the wizarding trunk box is getting better and better every time i get it the packaging looks better the items in the box like not that they were ever bad but they're getting better and better so i'm going to definitely say that my least favorite item is unfortunately this pin because i'm confused by it and i just don't quite understand it i don't necessarily know that i like the design of it maybe i love these portrait pins don't get me wrong like I like when they're in like a frame or whatever and I like how it looks like the glass with the portrait behind it but I'm just confused by the outside of this. I just don't know. So that has to be my least favorite and I'm not gonna lie the book covers I could live without them but my favorite item has got to be this replica. This is amazing. I'm gonna have to also say that the telephone booth coin holder gotta be also my second favorite I would say. Yeah I'm going to leave it with these two as my favorite items but anyways let me know what you guys think of the items in this box. You can always leave a comment down below and let me know what items are your favorites and your least favorites. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at magical underscore me underscore Lissa. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.